I didn't learn a lot from my ex, but they did tell me one thing. Kiva works smarter, not harder. And that always stuck with me. And that's truly the only thing. So in today's video, I'm going to share some life-changing Amazon products that make your life easier. They either speed up your everyday routine or they just keep you nice and organized. And I love that for me and you. But before we get into today's video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. But let's talk about these gadgets. The first gadget that makes your life easier is the Nori Press Iron and Steamer. When you see your probably thinking, Kiva, why do you have a flat iron? You're bald, get it together. Well, while it does look like a flat iron, it actually is a steamer iron combo. Have you ever like steamed some curtains and been like, why is this taking me 50 million hours? There has to be a better way where there is. The Nori iron basically is a flat iron and you can use it to get every wrinkle out of your sheets, um, out of your curtains, so on and so forth. It just makes more sense. So I was really happy when I found this. Okay, you're probably watching this and thinking, let me go get my flat iron. You do not know the correct temperature you were going to set your house on fire and I am not liable for that. So this has a setting for every different type of fabric so you're good to go. If you're a cashmere girly or a wool girly, that's really nice. But if you're a polyester girly like me, there's also a setting for us. So it does steam and iron. So no matter what you wanna do, you can do it with this Nori Press and steam iron and it's super portable. You can put this in your suitcase and you're good to go. The next gadget that makes my life easier is this candle warmer. Now I've talked about the candle warmer before and you guys are always like, Kiva, you need to do something new. Okay, but this is good, so I have to share it again. This candle warmer also saved my house from burning down the other day because I left at 9 a.m. I didn't come back until four. I was having a little shopping spree and it turned my candle off for me. So basically a candle warmer, people don't understand the point of them. It will heat your candle, right? So you get all of the scent of the candle without the flame. So you don't have to worry about leaving an open flame. And these maintain your candle so much better. Before I had a candle warmer, my candles were so ugly. They were giving chimney sweep, like you needed like a full setup to clean these candles because they were so ashy and gross. They're ashier than I am and I haven't put on lotion all week. And it, they just looked awful. You don't have that problem with candle warmers either because it burns really evenly. I also feel that with candle warmers, they fill your home with the scent way better than like a normal candle does. I don't know, maybe I've gaslit myself, maybe I'm lying to myself, it doesn't matter. Try a candle warmer, they're going to make just living with candles so much easier because you'll be more inclined to burn them because if you forget, it'll go off automatically, it's not gonna start a fire. And two, the candles, you will actually burn them for longer because you don't end up throwing them away because of like the soot and all of that. So they are just so good for getting the longevity of your pieces. Now we have to talk about the storage ottoman. So this storage it went viral on the internet and I was like I'm not gonna get sucked into that and honestly I'm glad that he did because this sword ottoman can fit 40 pairs of shoes I kid you not we are family of big feet you're like oh where's Bigfoot it's us we are them okay so we have big feet in this family and this can fit all of our shoes it's incredible it's at my sister-in-law's house so we all have big feet we all throw our shoes in there it is incredible and it's very comfortable so it has the boucle it's on trend it's white it's easy to maintain it takes less than 30 seconds to put together I know because I did it myself another thing that I put into my sister-in-law's house that I think is a game-changing Amazon product is this battery operated light bulb so it's not battery operated so I don't know why I said that it is USB-C powered. C, not whatever the other letter is. USB-C operated. So it comes with the plug, it doesn't come with the butt. And basically these are magical. So they can screw in to, um, I think it's E12. There's also an E26 adapter if that's what you'd like to do, depending upon the lamps that you like to buy, that's your business. And they can do every different color of the rainbow. Like they have a flashing version, they have a fading version. It can transition to the different colors. It has a bright white, it has yellow, it has green. It has every single color of the rainbow. And I love that. And it comes with a remote. So so the remote will change it. And let me just say, these are great if you're in a rental, but they're also great if you're in a home and you just don't wanna deal with cord management or you find a really nice lamp on Facebook Marketplace and it doesn't work and that person scammed you, right? It allows you to bring new life to old pieces and it allows you to not have to worry about the cords, which just makes your life so much easier because sometimes the cord management pains me so much that I'll just return the items to the store. And I cannot speak about cord management without talking about my remote controlled smart plugs. So they're remote controlled, there's no app, you don't have to figure out how to download something. You don't have to figure out your Apple ID because you don't remember what the password is. You don't have to do any of that, right? It just comes with two remotes. You can turn each plug on individually or all of them. The sensor on this thing is incredible. I can be standing like in the living room and I will turn the lights off in the bedroom. It's, it's magical. It's kind of scary even how good it is because I was like, is that a ghost? Am I being haunted? SOS. Now this is a game changing hack for those of you who want the Frame TV look without the Frame TV price. The caveat here is 
is I've only used this for a little bit and I use it on my like really cheap TV, my $200 TV because my other TV obviously is the frame TV. So if I tried it on this, I would just be lying to you. And we don't do that here on the DIY with KB YouTube channel. And if you value that, smash that subscribe button. But this is called Billion Dollar Art Gallery. I talked about this in my like $1,000 Amazon haul. If you haven't seen that yet, click here to go check that out. I was shocked the entire time because I couldn't remember what I bought. But anyway, the beauty of this is it's basically a USB port with all of these famous portraits on it and you can put it on your TV and then you have a frame TV, right? You can make your own frame using washi tape or wood or whatever, but it turns it into like a screensaver sort of situation. So you can choose one portrait if you want to, or you can have it have a slideshow and do many different ones that are all landscape. I have the for kids version, but I like it as an adult. There, it's not like paintings of Barney on there. There are famous paintings on there. There's a screen portrait, things like that. Um, so it's really, really wonderful. They even have a party mode. I don't host any parties because I have like two friends, but if I did, party mode, it basically for three hours switches the painting every three minutes and it has background music. But after the three hours, everyone has to go home because then the slideshow is over. Do you guys remember when Restoration Hardware was like the IT store? Do you remember that? Because it's not anymore. But it used to be the IT store and something they had that blew everyone away was the decorative book box, but they were like 100 or $200. I don't know what compelled them to price it as that. They had these decorative book boxes, they were expensive, but now I found these ones on Amazon that they're decorative book boxes, but they're $70 for three. Is that still a lot for a box? Yeah, but like, okay. <laughs> It's less than $100 for one. But I really like these because they do look like books and they store so much. I, I'm not even gonna tell you what's on mine because that's my business. But I can fit tons of things in these storage boxes. The big one, it has all of my deepest darkest secrets in here. It's like my diary, but I didn't write anything. I just shoved stuff in there. It's wonderful. So you get a set of three, you get a massive one, a medium one, and a small one. And not only can they store things horizontally, obviously, because they're boxes, but vertically they don't open up because the magnetic closure on her is so great. So whether you need a place to put your remotes on your coffee table or to put like your knickknacks that you're kind of over but don't want to part with on your bookshelf, you can put these in there, put them up on your bookshelf and no one has to know that it isn't a book. They are fabric wrapped, they're super durable and they come in four different colors. So if brown isn't for you because that's the color that I have, there are other colors though there are no bright colors. So if you want a bright colored one, we can find something. But I've been very, very impressed with this and has actually helped me really decrease my coffee table clutter. I again have to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Brick Sloth. Brick Sloth introduced me to this bathroom and gadget so I had to order it once he told me about it and basically it is an automatic soap dispenser I love this thing I wash my hands 50 million times a day because I am uptight soap containers it doesn't matter how much money you spend on them they get slimy and gross and they're not cute after like a set period of time if yours don't get slimy and gross you're better than me congratulations you clean all the time that's just not what I'm doing so I love this automatic soap one you put your soap in there it has three different levels they're like do you want a little bit of soap or do you want a lot of soap and I like that I like that we can go on X seems most with the soap. I always choose a lot of soap and it's just USB rechargeable. So I use the same charger to charge like my light for my face as I used to charge this. It's really fantastic. How do you like to clean your home? Like what do you use? Do you use paper towels? Are you wasteful like that? Just kidding, I'm not judging you. I don't care what you use. Are you a Swedish discloth person? What do you like to clean with? I personally like to use microfiber towels because I feel like they just get dust off of everything. Dusting a mirror can take me like 30 minutes because I don't like dust everywhere. And that's what happens I feel like with paper towels. So microfiber cloths are the way to go. But for like those like really tight areas like the corners of a mirror or behind a sink, it can be really difficult to reach back there with like that big old rag. So I love to use these dusting mitts. You've seen these before. This is the only way I'm able to get those glass pendants clean in my bathroom. They just do a beautiful job with glass and you're able to like get your finger in like those tight places whereas you can't get the whole rag in there. You kind of get the point, but I think that they are like, a gift. Now, I can't just talk about my dusting mitts without talking about my mop shoes. You guys make fun of me for these mop shoes, but I think they are a fashion statement. Just watch Versace have it on the runway next year. I won't know because I don't watch stuff like that, but one of you will know and you can tell me. So basically, you put these slippers on and they have like a mop base to them. So they will mop your floor. These are great when you're mopping and you don't want to wear your indoor shoes inside because we don't do that. And you don't want to like get dirt everywhere. So this is a great way to make sure that the floor is getting dry clean. It's not getting dirty on top of what you just cleaned. I love it for that. I do like to use these pads to kind of do that everyday maintenance that a Roomba would otherwise do. And these are really great because you can just peel off the bottom and throw them in the washing machine and reuse them. They don't shrink or anything like that. So it's not like a single use sort of slipper because that's just so wasteful. You can use these time and time again. And I told you guys like, oh, I would have my guests put these on. You guys ate me up. 
I'm sorry, is it not my house? It's okay for me to not want people to wear shoes in my house, but I'm not like that. But it'd be nice, it'd be nice. You guys don't take off your shoes when you go into someone's house? What if it's raining outside? Let's talk about this down in the comments. I'm not judging you if you don't judge me. I just, I just wanna have a conversation about it. But I love these slippers, they're so comfortable. I'm a slipper girl, like I wear slippers 24 seven. And I, these are up there for me in terms of comfort and utility. And I just spoke about like the buildup of the soap, which is why I had that automatic soap dispenser. But something else I really love is this evaporating coaster. We've talked about the evaporating bath mat. We're not gonna talk about it again, okay? If you don't know what it is though, subscribe to the channel because you're missing out on a miraculous thing. But these coasters are made out of diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is very, very absorbent. So when you get water on it, it's like So if there's condensation on your drink, um, if there is a little bit of water spilling down your soap container, it absorbs it and it doesn't stain your countertop and you don't get those rings that just make me wanna stay up all night in anger. I am not a laundry girl, you guys know this. I, that's not my house duty. I'm one of those people where I'd rather buy new underwear. That's not practical and I don't, but that's truly how I feel because I hate laundry with a passion. So I'm always looking for ways to make it a little bit more efficient. So one thing I like to do is I use, like to use this magnetic dryer sheet holder. So basically it's magnetic, it sits on your laundry, what is it even called? See, that's how much I hate laundry. <laughs> It's, it magnetically attaches to your washer dryer and hold your dryer sheets. That's not what I use it for. I don't really care about the dryer sheets, though that's nice if you're a dryer sheet person. But what I love is I use this to get the laundry materials off of the ground. I hate seeing that stuff on the ground. We don't have shelves. I'm not building shelves. I don't care enough to do that. So this is a great way to corral all of your laundry supplies and put them on the thing. So if you need that stain stick, if you need that tide stick, if you need something urgent, right? You can just grab it. You don't have to bend down, look through all those baskets that like look cute, but you can't find anything in. This just keeps it really efficient. So yes, it's good for dryer sheets, but I like to use it for my stain sticks, for my laundry stuff. All my basic things fit in one of these. I can fit like two or three things per container. And that just like gets me through it. Something else that is life-changing for your dryer is this dryer cleaner. So you attach this nozzle to your vacuum. Doesn't matter what vacuum you have. You don't have to have a Dyson to do this. What I love about this is it deep cleans where all of your lint goes. That lint thing is full of stuff. Go look at it, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It gives me almost as much satisfaction as like those acne popping videos, the cleaning of the dryer vent. Oh, it's so amazing. You get all that stuff out, your clothes get cleaner, you're not worried you're gonna start a fire. It's amazing and you really can't fit your hand in there. I guess you can get your kids, you can be like, hey kids, stick your hand in there and you can get your allowance. That seems wrong to me. So just use this nozzle. It's like $8 and you're good to go. Something else I think that also makes my life easier is having these book stands. Why does it make my life easier? Because it makes sure I actually read the books that I buy. How many of you have bought a coffee table book and you've never really read it? I'm not gonna judge you, it's okay, right? And we don't read it because we display them in a way that's not conducive to reading. We use it to like prop up other things. We put it on a bookshelf and we don't even go into the office or whatever, right? We want it to look cute. So this is a great way to keep your book looking cute, but also make sure that you read it. So you can leave it open to a page and use that page as a piece of art, right? So it gives you art that you wouldn't necessarily be able to afford otherwise. And it just encourages you to read. And that's the era we need to be in. Reading is powerful, reading is knowledge, reading is good for you, it keeps you smart. So I do love it for that reason. And it just gives you a novel way to display things. Sometimes spaces can get repetitive with coffee table book, coffee table book, coffee table book. So I like that this is still a coffee table book, but we can actually see the inside of the book. I don't just wanna see the outside of your Tom Ford book, I would like to see what's inside it as well. Does this next item make my life easier? No, but it makes me happy. So this is a travertine tissue holder and tissues are ugly. T I, you, know, you know the kid with the red nose? and they're like, oh, puffs, whatever. That kid is cute in the commercial, but I don't want that on my box. I want my box to look cute so that I put it out and it's functional and I use it. So this is a travertine holder. I bought a green marble one. I think I got it from like Bloomingdale's. It was like a hundred bucks, like delusional, right? Why would I do that? And if you want to see some delusion, go watch my most recent Zara unboxing. I spent $1,500 at Zara home and I could have spent my money better literally anywhere else. But anyway, I got this travertine holder way more affordably on Amazon. It covers your tissues and it's just a great way to have something functional on display while remaining cute. I hate when I have to like hide my tissues away or hide my paper towels away and maybe don't do that, but this is a safe place where a lot of us, we just want our stuff to look pretty, sometimes first more than function sometimes. So this is a great way to make function and aesthetic kind of equitable. And last, but certainly not least, I wanna tell you about this easel floor lamp. So this easel floor lamp makes your life easier because it allows you to display artwork 
work without having to nail into the wall and it's a light. So two purposes. I love this because it's adjustable. You can have big art, you can have small art, you can adjust the arm so that it's really nice and tall and it's illuminating the space or you can adjust the light so that it's just illuminating your artwork. It's very versatile, it gives off tons of light and the cord is a push. So if you have arthritis like I do, I, I literally, the reason this sweater is unbuttoned is because it would take me like 20 minutes to button it and it's just not worth that to me. So I love that this is push to start, just like your car, right? But it's a lamp. So it's push to start, it comes with a light bulb, super easy to assemble, and it looks cute. It's like a sculpture in your home, and I love that. I love things that are cute and functional, and this is that because again, it illuminates and it displays artwork without putting holes in your wall. So if you are a renter or if you're indecisive, this is the perfect item for you. But that is it for today's video. Those are some Amazon products that I think are life-changing to make your life easier, they make your life more enjoyable, it keeps you organized, and it just keeps you being chic while maintaining a functional home. So if you liked any of these products, they are linked down in my description box, and if you don't know where that is, it's right below where I'm talking, and I'm gonna pin it in the comments, and you can always head over to my Amazon storefront to find these items because I'm updating it every single day. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please smash that subscribe button, but until next time, have a beautiful day.